Hello guys and welcome to a new series on Old School RuneScape. This is actually my first series so go easy on me. I have decided to make a one chunk account. Now basically this means that I have to finish a set of certain tasks and goals in one chunk as much as possible before leaving and doing the same in the next chunk. For example, in Lumbridge, there is the defense cape and the woodcutting cape. So some people who start in the Lumbridge chunk have to get level 99 defense and level 99 woodcutting before they are able to leave. Now there are different sets of rules and regulations that you can set your own account. I will not be doing the skill capes, but I will be mostly doing the extreme version which means doing the hardest, highest skill task that is absolutely possible, including green logging bosses. Now, I wasn't sure where to start my one chunk account. I've seen Happery start his in Lumbridge, Verf in Corand, uh, Frey in Canifis. I honestly wasn't sure, so I went onto the Chunk Picker account and I clicked a random chunk, roll me a random chunk. And I rolled Edgeville. And I thought, Edgeville's a really cool chunk. There's obviously the dungeon, which has a lot of monsters, things to kill. There's also a lot of things to do. There's a thieving grind. There's yew trees, oak trees, willow trees. There's two different slayer monsters in this chunk as well. And I thought, that's a really cool chunk, so I am going to start my journey in Edgeville. <clears throat> so at the start of this video, I dropped all my stuff, like the one chunk accounts do. And I made my way over to Edgeville and unlocked my first chunk. Had a quick look around, obviously like I said, there's the trees, oak trees, willow trees, yew trees. The dungeon that has rats hobgoblins, hill giants, and obviously it has Obor as well, the hill giant boss. So that's already a lot of high skill uh, requirements for this chunk. Um, to burn a yew tree is going to be 60 fire making. I will then have to fletch a yew shield, which will be level 72 fletching. There will be, there is a way of thieving uh, men. And then I will have to thieve a guard as well. So that'll be level 40 thieving. Um, there is a way of cooking meat, obviously killing the rats, which I very nearly just died to, I might add. <laughs> I literally killed one rat and my method will be running to this range and eating the meat that I hopefully do not burn like I burned that one. So the cookie, the highest cooking requirement in this chunk is level 58 cooking, which is which means killing about seven and a half thousand rats and cooking them all. And that's basically the only method. Uh, the imps drop a pot of flour, which means I will have to cook a pita bread. So there's another chunk task. Now at the very start, I wanted to get my combat up a bit, get a bit of food, and get my prayer up by dropping all the bones. Just wanted to get started on a bit of combat, get my cooking up a bit. But it was a bit <sighs> running back and forward between the range and the rats was taking a very long time. I had no energy, obviously, because I'm at level 1 agility. The run re-rate is very slow. And on every single journey to the rats, I could kill one, maybe two. But I'd also nearly die. So I had to be very careful. And I did get down to 1 HP a few times. <laughs> nearly lost my hardcore status already to a giant rat. But the start of the account was basically killing rats and running to the uh, range to cook it all. 
but cooking it proved to be a bit of an issue because most of the time I would burn at least half of the inventory and I would be going to cook the meat at 2, 3 HP so I wouldn't be able to actually have generated enough HP from the from the meat to be able to go and kill rats again and there's nothing really else I can do at the minute in this chunk um, that doesn't involve me having health. I can't go wood cutting because that requires me to get the wood cutting axes as drops from skeletons and thugs which I obviously can't do yet. I can't go thieving because I will take damage and I don't have the I don't have the HP to be able to do that. So a lot of the early time was spent standing around waiting for my health to regen, just doing other stuff on maybe other accounts or just chilling at home, uh, just looking at my TV or playing on my Xbox or something like that. But slowly and slowly, we started to get cooking levels, combat levels, the kills were getting a bit faster. We'd start cooking more rats per inventory. And suddenly, we were able to be in combat all of the time, instead of just some of the time. At level 15 cooking, we cooked 20 out of 27 meat in an inventory and that's honestly really really good. I was still taking loads of damage from the rats but I was able to get full inventories of meat after this because I always had the food to be able to cover it. We were getting quite a few random events whilst we were killing the rats and I got a Captain Arrow random event where I got my first ring on the account. It wasn't a good ring but it was still a ring. I had an extra slot on my uh, on my wearable items which honestly felt kind of good <laughs> I made a big error I'd killed 300 or so rats so I was kind of feeling myself I wanted to try and kill something bigger something tougher so I went a bit further into the dungeon and I tried my luck at killing a zombie now I initially thought that zombies dropped the axe that I needed to start wood cutting, so I killed one of them. Um, however, this went very badly. I got absolutely destroyed and I ate all of my food and my HP was dangerously low. However, I managed to make it back and it turns out that there were skeletons that actually dropped the axe and not the zombies. So I nearly lost my account, killing the wrong mob. It was at this time that I decided to go back to the rats. Obviously I had the cooking goal which is level 58. So for the time being I might as well just kill the rats and work on getting the basic attack strength and defense levels I need to be able to defend myself as well as getting inching I would say closer to the cooking goal. I got my first maze random on the account. Now I have seen other chunk men do it where instead of running to the center of the map it has been more beneficial to them to find one of the chests located within the maze and loot it every minute for the uh, remainder of the time. Every time you loot it the percentage goes down by 1% but you can also loot it every 1% and they have things like defense potions, attack potions, strength potions, different types of runes, air runes, water runes, arrows, bolts. So for an account where it's impossible to get those things otherwise. I took the stance that it was beneficial for me to spend an hour and a half of my time stood here looting the same chest over and over again. And here is how much loot I got from the chest. A large amount of two days defunct potions, 14. 6 attack potions, 5 strength potions, 
250 air runes, 70 water runes, a whole bunch of iron and bronze arrows, um, just a whole bunch of things that are going to be very useful to me, things that it's going to uh, be very difficult for me to otherwise come by. And after 1,358 giant rats, we had reached level 40 strength. So I was hitting um, fours and fives at this point, which was making it very quick to kill the rats. And then I got my first Bob random, where you get transported to a mysterious island where you have to cook fish that's already cooked and then you have to uncook it and feed it to Bob. So after this I was up to 7 fishing from one random event which is actually so nice, you get 658 uh, XP fishing XP and that is absolutely lovely for such an easy thing to do. So after 1355 giant rats I'd hit 20 attack, 20 defense and 40 strength. 700 rats later and we are at 45 strength so the levels are getting slower but we can basically one shot some of the rats now there is one rat here with 5 hp and two rats with 10 we can one shot the one with 5 hp and kill the ones with 10 hp still very quickly as we hit level 21 attack we hit 200 total level on the account which isn't hugely significant, but it looks very nice. And as we hit 25 attack, we hit 40 combat level. Now, I haven't mentioned it before, but there is Vanaka, who requires a combat level of 40 to get a task from. Um, so that is one of the chunk tasks on this account. Get a, um, get a Slayer task from Vanaka. So I run over to Vanaka to get a task and he gives me probably one of the worst tasks I could have imagined, cow fights. Cow fights are a very long way away from my chunk in Alcarid, past Alcarid actually, and it's going to be a very long time before I get anywhere close to them. So that may be a case of lamping Slayer to a certain level before I can actually kill some monsters. But also, because if I hit the western cow fight entrance instead of the eastern slayer one, I will have to green log cow fight queen, which I can tell you right now is going to be an absolute horror story, because if I haven't lost my uh, hardcore status by then, I will definitely lose it then, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to lamp, but I decided in the end that I was going to lamp smithing. Smithing is a skill that is technically possible in my chunk. There are monsters that drop copper and tin ore at a rate of either 164 or 101 and 128, I can't remember which. But it is not viable to train smithing in that way. It's possible, but it's not viable. There is a task to smith, uh, to use the furnace to make a steel bar. But I believe that would take far too long. So my goal is to lamp smithing enough to get to 15 so that I can at least make an iron bar. I got 50 strength just from killing rats and I got another count check which I put again on smithing meaning I'm closing in on level 2, not quite there yet. We're hitting a fairly big milestone in this clip, we are hitting our 4000th rat killed. Now basically we have been doing combat or cooking for the entirety of this account so far. And so far it has taken 30 hours of in-game time to kill 4,000 rats. Now I believe there's about another 4,000 to go, so we're about halfway, but the second half will be much much quicker than the first. That's the only positive I can think of. 
another nice milestone that we're hitting here is 40 attack that's now 50 strength 40 attack I can now wield rune weapons now I don't think I will be getting a rune weapon until we have killed Obor and Obor has dropped one but that is very nice to see 40 attack and 50 strength now it's time to train defense and work on getting the requirements for rune armor I decided it was time for a change of scenery and decided to start killing some skeletons that drop the uh, iron axe. We got an iron med helm drop which is currently my best possible helmet I can get right now. So I've got my first armour and that feels very nice even though it is not a good helmet. I reached level 33 which I believe to be the level that I stopped burning the rat meat at so we can get a definitive answer on how many rats we need to kill to hit our level 58 goal. Uh, it would take 6,874 uh, more rat meat to make it to my goal. But I had 3,875 in the bank already, which practically means I need to kill another 3,000 giant rats to get my goal of 58 cooking which actually isn't too bad at all it shouldn't take me too long ah yes finally we have got the iron axe drop from the skeletons i was starting to think it didn't actually drop it because it's a 1 in 64 and we'd killed over 200 but that is so good to get i can finally start my wood cutting grind after getting the iron axe drop from the skeletons I moved over to the thugs which is just past the wilderness gate. These drop the steel axe which I also believe is a 1 in 64 drop. But training at thugs is actually really good. They are aggressive and they also have 18 HP with low attack. So you can sit there and train quite comfortably. I know I'm not going to die here because I basically can't get attacked, I just run one square south and I'm safe. They also drop a good amount of herbs, obviously which I can't use yet, and a few other things, coins, iron swords, things like that, steel axes. So I'm just going to camp here until I get this steel axe and then I've got my best possible best in slot axe for this chunk. I also just hit level 40 defense so that's now 40 attack, 40 defense and 50 strength. I will now be focusing on strength because when it comes to killing the hill giants which I will have to kill loads of, I would like to focus on having as much DPS as possible so I can kill as many as I can before I run out of food. Ah oh, yes, there is the steel axe. Uh, finally, we got it on kill count 62, which I believe is just under the drop rate, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a 1 in 64, but I can't remember if that's the iron axe. Either way, I'm so happy we finally got the steel axe. Uh, we can now start our wood cutting grind. I believe we're going to get cut quite a high wood cutting level because we have to get 72 fletching and 60 fire making so I wouldn't be surprised if we get 75 to 80 wood cutting somewhere in that region but it's good that we can finally do something that is not killing rats <laughs> so we got level 6 wood cutting and it honestly didn't take too long at all probably just about two invents of normal logs but now we have six wood cutting, we can get rid of the iron axe that took us 200 skeleton kills to get. It's over just like that and we can now use the steel one which will be a bit quicker. And there is level 15 wood cutting coming in, we can now cut oak logs, significantly faster XP and you can cut multiple logs from the same tree which is very nice. However, fletching from level 1 is very, very painfully slow. We've got 15 more cutting and only level 5 fletching so far. 
So we're probably going to be level 25 or so woodcutting before we can even move on to the oak trees, which is a bit of a pain, but it's got to be done. So we've just hit level 15 fire making and level 15 fletching, so now we can move over to the oak trees. There is an oak tree just there, but we can't actually get to it because we have to go out of our trunk. So I'm not sure if there's another one, but it looks like we're going to be training on this singular sad oak tree for the time being, but it's nice and AFK, much more AFK than the, the normal trees, so I can just click every couple of seconds instead of every second. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice milestone coming in, level 30 fletching and also level 350 total level. It's not a huge milestone as before but it's still just a nice level to see, it just shows we're making a bit of progress now, you love to see it. And now 40 wood cutting, still on the oak tree until we have 35 fletching and we've got 30 fire making. And then it'll be willows all the way to the top. 35 fletching, we can now make willow short bows, so we can now move on to fire making, and we're nearly done on the oak trees. And there it is, level 30 fire making. We now have all the requirements, fletching, wood cutting, and fire making to make stuff with willow trees, so we can now ditch the oak tree and move on to the willows. We're going to be at the willows for quite a long time until we reach probably 75 to 80 wood cutting. I haven't worked it out fully, but I know it's going to be at least level 75. So, got that to look forward to. We're going to be using one singular willow tree the whole way, just like the oak tree. One tree, 20 odd thousand logs. Let's go. So we just got level 40 fletching making willow short bows and I'm not sure if I should be banking the logs and then fletching at the end all at the same time or if I should fletch the logs walking to the bank. I feel like I'm just wasting time by fletching them each inventory. I think personally I would rather fletch them all together at the end. I feel like it'd be more easier to get in a rhythm of banking all the logs, banking all the logs, banking all the logs, fletching them at the end and fire making at the end, just so I've got the core wood cutting out of the way. I think that would benefit me greater to be honest. We have a big level coming in here, probably the biggest milestone on the account so far. If I can cut the last log, there we go, level 60 wood cutting coming in. We can now cut yew trees, so I'm going to go over to the yew tree now, just to see how long it's actually going to take to cut one log, because I'm pretty sure it's much slower than cutting willows, so I just want to see how long it's going to take. Plus, it is a chunk goal to cut a yew log, as it's the highest tier tree in the chunk. So once we've cut this log, we have got one chunk task out of the way. Man, it took such a long time to cut that yew log and that is not something that I would look to be doing as a training method. So we have nearly 2,000 willow logs banked and I believe to get to 72 fletching it's going to take uh, 20,000 logs. And then it's another 2,000 after that to get to level 60 fire making. So we've got another 20,000 logs to go. It looks like we're going to get 77 or 78 wood cutting, so we're making good progress, but there's a really long way to go. So we've got the jail random event. Now I do believe, although this teleports you briefly to your nil, this doesn't um, 
this isn't against the rules of the chunk account I believe this is something that they were allowed to do so going off that I did it and I got a massive 160 coins so there we go well worth it as the levels keep going up they're starting to take longer but at the same time we're cutting logs quicker and quicker every level so it's noticeably quicker than it was a few levels ago but it's still taking a long time I'm not getting much XP per hour I'd probably say about 15k on average maybe slightly lower than that I am working at the same time but as we get more logs cut more levels we're getting loads of birds nests as well we are getting a lot of beginner clues we can't do any of them obviously we're still hunting that um, barbarian village step just in case you roll that chunk next but we still haven't got that yet we've got more than I would say 50 uh, we got 30 at the rats and probably about 20 wood cutting that's levels 64, 65 and level 66 woodcutting coming in. It's quite a long time in between levels, like I said, it's probably about 15k an hour, so it's getting 4 plus hours per level. We're putting in quite long days at this point, got 6 hour log twice yesterday, so it's going slow, but we're committed to the grind. So we got an easy clue there from a clue nest. There are I believe three easy clue sets we can do in Edgeville, but we're yet to yet to get one we can do. I think I've had about five or so easy clues so far and we've had to drop them all, which is quite annoying. But I'm sure we'll get one eventually we can do. And level 67 woodcutting, the XP per hour is creeping up slowly but surely but we are getting close to 70 woodcutter now which would be a very nice milestone right we've got our first mystery box on the account now i want a mithril scimitar or a rune spear like happery got in his lumbridge one chunk account please give me something good give me something i can use Please. Bless with RNG. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I got a bloody cabbage. Well, hopefully we'll get luckier in the next one. 68 wood cutting coming in. Another nice level to grab. Every level at this point is nice. It's taken a while, but we're getting there. We just got an elite clue scroll from this willow tree. Now I think I might have another couple of clue scrolls banked, so I'm not sure if that changes the rates, but I think it's very rare to get an elite crew elite clue from willow trees. Now the task for this elite clue is to kill a crocodile. That's probably the only step I can actually do. So I'm actually gonna bank it and keep it. Because once I get the desert to unlock the cow fights, I won't be far away from where the crocodiles go. So I'm actually going to keep that. That's kind of interesting to keep. I don't think I've mentioned it before, but I've got the full beekeeper's outfit now. So whenever I get the beekeeper random, I'm guaranteed to get flags which as there are no flax fields around where I am it's actually my only way of obtaining it and as I've got a high fletching level once I unlock a magic tree I can get a magic shortbow just like that and that's going to be so so good for me we have just got the nicest level on the account 69 woodcutting it's the sec number nice Another easy clue obtained from the willow tree and another easy clue that I can't do. It's getting quite frustrating at this point. We have dropped quite a few now, but hopefully it will just be a matter of time before we get what we can actually do. 
we got an exam random which we're going to put on smithing again we are now 10 xp away from level 2 which is very nice because the next genie, the next count check or the next book we will get a level our first big boy level of the account coming in now level 70 wood cutting that's so nice to see considering the accounts only about a week to two weeks old at this point having that level 70 skill just looks so so nice We've got about eight more wood cutting levels to go before we reach our goal each level is taking a mission right now to to complete but we're slowly getting through it one push eight levels we can do this Another beekeeper random and another nice amount of flax. Flax is a really good way to train crafting at an early level once you've unlocked the spinning wheel. So that's very nice to get. I'm very happy with the amount of uh, bee events we're getting. Let's carry on. Decided to break up a bit of the wood cutting by getting my tinderbox out the bank and just burning some logs as we cut them. It breaks up a bit of wood cutting constantly. It is getting a bit dire, a bit dull, a bit tedious, just standing at the same tree cutting the same logs over and over again. So I decided to just burn some logs, get some quick levels, dopamine, level go up, number go up, you love to see it. We're at 40 fire making now, it really shouldn't take long to get any fire making levels, it's very quick, it's just a boring skill to train. But the levels are going up, you can't complain. Level 71 woodcutting coming in. Ah, every, on RuneScape, every 7 levels is basically double the XP. So if we're getting 78 for our goal, we've just hit 71, we're halfway. We have to cut the same amount of logs again. 44 fire making coming in on the same log. That's actually really nice. Pretty cool to get 2 levels in about 5 seconds dopamine <laughs> but we're halfway we're halfway this is what I've been waiting for a genie random event we can finally put another lamp onto smithing and we have got level 2 smithing that's taken about what four in-game days to get enough lamps for level 2 I know at level 2 you get double the XP you get a level 1 so level 2 should theoretically go quicker than level 1 but it's nice to get a level other than wood cutting and fire making for a change. It's actually incredible how much faster the skills that come out of wood cutting are rather than wood cutting. So much faster to do fire making, so much faster to do fletching than actually cutting the logs. It's actually kind of ridiculous the disparity in the XP levels. But we've just hit 45 fire making, we've got 15 levels to go until we've reached our goal with that. So we're actually closing in on that one as well. Okay, we have got our second mystery box. The first one was a cabbage. Can I get the mythal scimitar I want? Can I get the rune spear I want? They're both really rare. Can I get something I can actually use? Tension's killing me here, just getting some good luck from the clan. And <laughs> we get an onion! We've got two mystery boxes, one cabbage, and one onion. The game is trolling me! Level 72 woodcutting. And we have an easy clue scroll. We haven't looked at that yet. Is it a scroll we can do? Is it finally a step that we can do in our trunk? Time to check. No, nope, another step we can't do. Another easy clue we're going to have to drop. The woodcutting continues. Level 50 fire making coming in right now. I think we're going to hold it there and I'm just going to focus on woodcutting because once I've got the woodcutting out of the way, the fletching and the fire making are just going to breeze by. 
So it's nice to get level 50, but I think we're just going to focus on the woodcutting from now on. And it will not be too much longer, I hope, until we can start fire making and fletching again. I've been playing RuneScape for about 15 years, if you include back in 2003, etc. I've never seen this random event. I've never ever done this random event in my life. That is so strange to me. I know they haven't added new ones, but how have I never seen this? I know I'm not exactly a hardcore player, but what the hell? We got a hard key scroll now from the trees. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do it. No, we can't do it. We're just going to have to drop it. I've seen every tier of Clue Scroll now, I believe. It's quite cool to see, but yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> Level 73 woodcutting coming in. The boaty number, where he got smacked to 73 by skill specs, I believe it was. But nice. Five levels to go. Five levels to go. We're nearly there. And now level 74 woodcutting. It's just standing still at the same tree all day for about six days in a row. Some 12 hour days. This grind will not kill me. It's not as bad as some of the other one chunks that they've had to do. Where they're using bronze axes and they have to get like level 90. I can't really complain. I've got a steel axe. It's just taking forever. I can't wait till this is over. We've just hit 75 wood cutting. That's such a nice level to get. Once we unlock the magic trees, we can cut magic trees on an account that I've had for little over a week and a half, I believe, at this point. Such a nice level to get. It looks so nice. Three levels to go. We're so close now. 75 wood cutting with a steel axe. We're getting there. It's still taking a while to cut logs, but we are just about to hit level 76. 76 wood cutting, two levels to go. I would be getting more XP per hour if I was paying attention, but I'm actually working at the same time. So it's actually kind of nice to be able to just AFK a goal while I do other things like work. Two levels to go and a bit. We've got about 6,000 more logs to go. If I had access to the Wizard's Tower, I would have just finished Imcatcher's Quest. I've got all four beads. I only got two duplicates, which is very nice. Normally you get about nine of one bead when you're only hunting the other one. All four beads collected. So when I eventually get to the Wizard's Tower, I will have an amulet, but that will probably be a very long way off. 20,000 logs banked. That's such a nice number to look at in the bank. 20,000 willow logs. Got about 2,000 left to knock out both goals. 2,000, we're 10 elevenths of the way. We're really close. <laughs> I think I missed level 77 woodcutting. I can't seem to find the recording of it anywhere, but there is level 78. That is the last level we're going to get. We need to cut about 500 more logs, so we've got 22,000. But we've hit the level we need. We're there, we've done it. It's probably about another hour or two getting the last 500 or so logs. <sighs> we've done it. Now we just need to cut the last few logs, then we can fire, make and fletch. And then we've cut out all of the goals at the same time. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Another easy clue, can we do it? No, another one we can't do, another one we're going to have to drop. Still not a single step I can, I can do yet, it's getting kind of frustrating. And with that last inventory we have 22,000 with the logs banked, that is enough 
to get 72 fletching and 65 making all that now is required is for me to put the time in to do the fletching and farm making themselves we do not need to do any more wood cutting we've gone from 1 to 78 with an iron and steel axe it's taken nine days i started last friday and it's now the following sunday and I'm not gonna lie, I've done a couple of 12 plus hour days of just solid wood cutting. It's gonna be so nice to get fast levels. I'm so happy the wood cutting's out of the way. It looks so nice to have 78 wood cutting, but I'm so glad it's done. After we're cutting for so long, it's so nice to get quick levels. We've gone from like 46, I believe, to 50 fletching in literally about 10 minutes. 50 fletching, we can now make maple short bows, which is very nice because we might need to make that for range training. But they're going so quickly now, it won't be long before we're done. Level 52 fletching coming in. Level 54 fletching coming in. Level 57 fletching coming in. Can I make maple shields? And level 60 fletching coming in. We can now make adamant arrows. That's another nice level to have on the account. Another 60 plus level. We will be getting 70 plus soon. But it's still it's still just nice to see a level 60. It really is. And now level 65 fletching. We can now make you short bows, I believe. Nice and quick levels. It's only taken a couple of hours so far to get about 20 levels. It should take a few hours, maybe five, six hours to get to the goal of 72. It will not be long. Another nice level, about to drop level 69 fletching. The level that is required to make the rune crossbow. Obviously I have no way of getting the rune I limbs, but being able to make my own uh, rune crossbow is something that I'm hoping to do at some point in the future. It's gonna be very big for the account and it's nice to have that level. And now a level that is synonymous with a big money maker. Making you longbows is a good way of making a lot of money on an Iron Man account. We just hit level 70 so we can now make you longbows and if we want, obviously we can't string them yet, but that's another problem for another day. We can now make you longbows and that is fantastic. 71 fletching one level to go it'll probably take us over an hour to get the last level but we are so close to being done so close and that is the final fletching level about to drop level 72 fletching i've already announced it to the group chat it's beautiful it's what we've slaved for for the past 10 days it looks great we now have the level to be able to complete the fletching chunk goal for Edgeville. Now if we go into the bank we will see that we have about 2,000 logs left. That is pretty much the amount of logs that we need to get a 60 fire making. So I'll quickly knock that out in a minute and then we will complete the fire making and fletching chunk goals at the same time. <sighs> We're at the finishing line, ladies and gents. And with that final willow log, we have reached level 60 fire making, meaning we can now burn U logs. So I'm going to burn a U log now, which is the fire making task for this chunk completed. And I'm going to make a U shield which is the fletching task for this chunk completed as well. I don't, oh, I, I can equip it obviously because it's a level 40 defense. So right, I now have my best in shot shield for a, <laughs> quite a while. 
And this is all going to leave the video as well, guys. So let's have a quick check at the bank. We've got all four of the imp beads that we needed because we were killing it for the killing them for the uh, pot of flour. We got 58 imps, and on the 58th one, we got a. Uh, I thought that was a prayer potion then for a sec, but it's not. It's just a normal potion. I was like, what the hell is that? And anyway, we've got a whole bunch of every tier of clues which I can't actually do any of them of but we've got them in the bank we've got 20,655 um, unstrung willows uh, longbows nearly 500 short bows it's coming in at 2.8 mil which I don't know what the highest amount is uh, what the main source of that is apart from them so that's 1.5 mil I don't know what in here apart from the bird's nest is worth an awful lot. Got a few herbs, which I imagine we're going to have huge stacks of by the time we can actually do the herb law. If we go into the levels, we have a total level of 478, 3 mil XP, we've got 40 attack, 50 strength, 40 defense, 44 hit points. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to get the cooking goal. So that means killing all the rats, cooking all the meat. Um, we also need to get 40 thieving which will be on the men over here and then after that we can start focusing on the combat more which will be killing hill giants getting some giants keys and hopefully killing obor now there is no way of restoring prayer in my chunk obviously I'm a hardcore iron man and I've asked around in the one chunk clan and around a few places and Obor without prayer at a pretty low level apparently is pretty hard. It can hit up to 30s. So I'll imagine I'll try and get one or two kills of Obor, but in terms of green logging, I don't think that's going to be really viable for me until I have a way of restoring prayer. I don't just want to throw away my hardcore status for no reason. So take a look at the chunk. There is a way of restoring prayer if we are not the monastery. There's a couple of altars in Varrock, for example, so I think we'll just put that on the backlog for now, but we will try and get a couple KC and just see how it goes. Obviously, I don't have the best gear. I think my best weapon at the minute is an iron mace <laughs> with no armor, apart from an iron med helm. So apart from that, that's what we're going to leave the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions on tips on how I can improve the videos or things I'm doing wrong, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video. But for now, take care. Peace. Thanks for watching.